Hey, YouTube, it's Weird Paul. One of the things that I always get a lot of compliments on is my hair. Today, I'm going to show you how I do my hair and how I get it to look perfect every time. We'll start off with a few questions from my subscribers. General Skunk the Weirdo asked if I've ever changed my hairstyle. Well, as you've probably seen in my old videos from the 80s, when I was between 13 and 15 years old, my hair didn't really look like it looks now. It was shorter and really not styled in any way. When I was 16 years old, I started growing my hair longer and I usually parted it on one side. It kind of reached its peak in that style with my senior yearbook picture. Later, in the mid 90s, my hair was cut very, very short by my wife at the time and I hated it. After that, it was still short for a while going into the year 2000. Then it changed again. The girlfriend I had after that talked me into parting it like this. I didn't like that either. It felt really uncomfortable. And for the last 10 years, it's been back the way it belongs. Lago Verde asked why I made the decision to have this particular hairstyle. In January of 1988, when I was 17 years old, I showed my mom this photograph of Johnny Ramone and I said, cut it like this. In my journal, I wrote, got a Johnny Ramone haircut. The Ramones were my favorite band, and I thought Johnny had pretty much the coolest hair I ever saw. I wanted a punk rock star hairstyle too, and it got me a lot of attention. I was even nominated for wildest hair in high school senior recognition. It was handy having my hair over my eyes, because I could sleep during classes and no one even knew. My hair didn't really style itself straight like I wanted, so I'd use my mom's curling iron to straighten it out completely. Mason Taylor asked why I like having this hairstyle. I like it because it looks good on me and it feels right on me. It doesn't drive me crazy like the other hairstyles that I've had. Heather Heaton asked how I cut my hair. Well, I've never cut it myself. My mom has always cut this particular hairstyle for me, and she still does. She's become really, really good at it, and you can see the full video of her cutting it by clicking the Bull Cut music video link below in this video's description. All right, so let's move on to the bathroom, and I'll show you how I do my hair. The first thing I do is completely wet my hair. This takes less than 10 seconds because my hair is very fine. I'm allergic to many shampoos that would give me an itchy rash on the tops of my ears and eyebrows. I'm also allergic to a lot of soaps and deodorants, so I usually use things without fragrance, which seems to cause the problems. This is the shampoo I'm currently using, but I use whatever I happen to have around. I rub it in good and lather it up and then rinse it out pretty much immediately. Now, I rub my hair in opposite directions with both hands. I do this to get as much of the water out of it as possible. I do it four or five times. Then I rub my hair lightly with my towel until no water is dripping off of my head. Now we have the waiting. This five minute air dry period is crucial for my hair to come out right. Too soon and it's still too wet and it's hard to dry. And if I wait too long, it sticks together and doesn't dry flat. Now it's time to dry it. I use my towel to shape it exactly how I want it to look. Then I begin blow drying. I start with the top using my fingers to make sure none of the hair is stuck together. I lift the top part of my hair to dry all the hair that's underneath. It has to be completely dry or it'll stick together. Then I move on to the sides, again using my fingers to separate it as it dries and lifting to get all of the hair that's underneath. Finally, I dry the bangs and the back of my neck. I search for anything that might still be wet and dry that more too. This whole process takes five minutes. It's all done. Styled and ready for action. I hope that you enjoyed the video tutorial today on how I do my hair. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. See you soon. Thanks, YouTube.